Week 16 of the NFL season begins with Thursday night football as the Carolina Panthers take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers control their own destiny in route to the number two seed in the AFC. What better place to be than in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in late December as you get a look at Heinz Field, 28 degrees, snow showers, receivers for rookie quarterback Jimmy Clausen. On a first and ten, he'll throw, and the pass is dropped by one of those rookies, David Geddes, a sixth-round draft pick out of Baylor. To be successful tonight. Goodson will run it, cut down by Woodley. No gain on the play. Mended Hall with the first touch and room. Mended Hall the midfield. And pushed out at the Carolina 44-yard line, a run of 36 yards. This is a classic case of overcommitment. Watch everybody flow. See the flow? There it is. And once he has one guy to beat, and he beats him, and then it's out the game. That's James Anderson, the linebacker, who got beat and mended Hall off to the races. A 36-yard run for Mendenhall in Pittsburgh on one play in Carolina territory. Heath Miller in motion gets set right. Roethlisberger on a first and ten. Mike Wallace, good catch. First down, gain of 15. Split Clawson out to the top of your screen. Goodson awaiting the direct snap on a third and two. Goodson is not getting the first down. James Farrier gets the first hit, loss of three. That's really smart by the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. As soon as they see it, watch them attack the line of scrimmage. This is, this is watch, see Clark coming down the safety? They have an eight-man front. They just attack it, everybody in their gaps, and that's the way you attack the runner right there. That's really well done by Farrier. It's a fourth and five for Jimmy Clawson and the Panthers to start the second quarter down 3-0. There's the man. Clawson hit by Farrier and sacked. They locked up outside, Bob. They locked up outside and they brought pressure inside. More numbers than they can handle. The result is a sack. We'll be right back. What do they go for it on the first play of the second? Roethlisberger to throw. Mendenhall with a lot of room. In the Carolina territory, cut down by Richard Marshall, gain of 18. Yeah, he beat James Anderson. And Anderson had man coverage coming out of the back, though. And he tried to jump his coverage, which he did. And then Mendenhall just sidesteps him, gets to the top shoulder, and then there's nobody there. He's fine if Ben, he's in coverage up to the time that Ben's supposed to get rid of the ball. But as Ben and only Ben can do, he holds the ball. Down. Once they had the punt, the other time they went for it on fourth down, and Clawson was sacked. He'll throw on first and ten. He's going to air it out for Geddes, and it's intercepted by Bryant McFadden. Who make sure the other guy doesn't get it. You have to turn into a defender at that point. Even at the risk of taking a penalty, he cannot catch that ball. And you have to find the ball. Just look at his head. He loses the ball completely and tries to play defender right away. I guarantee you, he didn't run up against corners like McFadden at Baylor last year. Stays in the ball game. He's got time. He's got a first down. And Heath Miller. Gain of 13. What a great route by Heath Miller. He sees John Beeson, understands the route that he's running. And so instead of going high on the route, I want you to watch Beeson in the middle. Instead of going high on the route, watch Beeson. He's turned. Beeson's going to turn Carolina and look 46. to the Y, okay? Now he sees that, so he comes back underneath. Great adjustment by Heath Miller. And he and Roethlisberger are on the same page. And gets the helmet, boosted the dunk, has a second and seven. Quick slant to Wallace. He's gone. That was all Ben Roethlisberger. Eight read by Roethlisberger. They brought the slot. 
and they came with Heat off the corner. Roethlisberger read it perfectly. Here comes the Heat inside with the break. Wallace reads it. Roethlisberger reads it. He's in the open. Nobody on the field's catching it. Well, he averages almost 20 yards a catch. That one goes for 43, and the only thing that could slow him down was the warning track. Wallace's ninth touchdown catch of the season. He's still figuring it out. He doesn't need to know how good he can be yet. Roethlisberger on second and 10, middle of the field. Ward, tackle by Harris, gain of 15 and a first down. Everybody hates him because nobody can cover him. And it's, he's not going to run away from anybody. You know, he bumps off the linebacker. He winds up making the play. That's Nick Harris trying to cover him. It doesn't matter. He gets separation and works in the middle of the football field. I mean, look at 71% of his catches are in between the numbers. That's where he lives. They turn the whole kick to boodle over to him. Darian says he doesn't say a thing to him. Isaac Redman with a first down. Right up the middle to the 43-yard line. Pickup of 12. He's in the middle. Watch 36, McLean. He, his job is one job and one job only. Do not let him inside. He bit on that little mod. Let him get inside, and he get beat. So they wiggle out of the first is 25 and a second and 18. Now first and 10 at the Carolina 29. Trying to build upon a 10-0 lead. Again to the middle of the field, Keith Miller carving up the Panthers defense, pick up a 20. Second and goal, throws the slant, Sanders, not in, down at the one. He's 13 of 15 overall for 198 yards. Doug Ligursky, the fullback, Mendenhall. Touchdown Steelers. Make it 11 for Mendenhall. Just pure power of football. Takes the handoff, goes exactly where he wants to go and protects it. Just go behind the big guys. Doug Ligurski is not as effective. That doesn't apply anymore. You gotta wonder what would Troy be doing right now if he was in the field. Making Foss's life miserable. Pass deflected and nearly intercepted. Intended for LaFell. Ike Taylor broke it up. He probably would have intercepted. Yeah, probably. Coming from the other Jumping side of the field. Taylor with the hair flying. Fourth down. Nicely done by Ike Taylor on the out. Watch him close. Now the ball. Well, they're playing in a lot more alert brand of football. You see them. Christmas night. Roethlisberger. Aaron it out. Wallace with the catch, feed in, yes, at the 15-yard line, a 40-yard chunk. The receiver helping a quarterback out. When the ball goes up in the air, it has to be your ball. You either cannot allow the defender to make a play on it, or you have to be able to go up and make a catch. What a terrific job he did going up and getting it. Yeah, and he has control, and he has two feet in. And Wallace, with the great body control, kinesthetic sense, comes back. Kinesthetic sense, yes. body part awareness. Okay. 24 reception, 20 more yards this season. The most of the Steelers since John Stallworth in 1980. Try a 29-yard field goal. Signed on November the 16th. The team parted ways with veteran kicker Jeff Reed. And he knocks it right down the middle. Well. Weeson with the kickoff. Mike Goodson on the return. Goodson out to the 30, fumble the football. And it looks like the Steelers have it. Anthony Madison knocked it away, and I think Will Allen recovered it for Pittsburgh. Sean Sweeson in there. And it is Pittsburgh football. Madison knocked it out for Goodson, and Will Allen, number 26, cradles it for the Steelers. And that sums up Carolina's season. 
right there. Can't even get out of the half without being in danger of giving up more points. They're going to tack on to their 20 to nothing lead with 32 seconds to go in the half and a timeout in their pocket. Middle of the field for Antonio Brown. 20 points in the first half. Pretty good start for that. Pass! Roethlisberger finds Ward. Upended by Captain Munderland. But it's a first down. A pickup of 23 yards for the Steelers' all-time leading receiver. 10 at the Carolina 48. Mendenhall gets a block on the edge. Hit by Beeson and dropped at the 43-yard line. Marquise Pouncey, the rookie, brings a veteran presence as the starting center for Roethlisberger and the Steelers. Number 28 on the first and 10. Roethlisberger, Heath Miller, gain of 14. All kinds of time to throw. Defensive Pittsburgh, they just had a great video to get the fans fired up with great defensive plays. Third and four, Clawson's got to deal with that. And the Steelers faithful. From his own 11. Sack. Back at the five. Harrison got him around the ankle. Loss of six. And now here comes the pressure. This one, 47-year run of consistency. And for him, he'll be here for another, he'll be here for 15 years. Mendenhall just slips through tackles and takes it to the 22, picks up 11. You can see Pouncey right there, right in the middle, and that's where he's going. And then once he gets to that next level, then it's on the running back with his eyes. Make it so easy on the quarterback. Third and 10. Ben to the end zone and knocked away by Godfrey and Marshall intended for Ward. There's a, there's a flag, flag down on the play. And a hat down. Two hats. Sorry. That's interference. Number 31 defense. Not playing the ball. Now it's hurting the end zone. Ball will be placed at the one yard line. First down. Third and goal inside the one. Roethlisberger keeps it. He's in. No, no. Yeah, yeah. no signal. He's six no five. Signal. He's six five. He's that, now we got the touchdown. If ben, I like to wait for the signal myself. I know you do, but if Ben's leaning forward, I'm figuring six five. He's in. Let's see where Ben's going with the football. Oh, he's giving it to the guy with the Ben zone sign. Why he gave not? the guy with the broken nose. <laughs> hey, the guy made a sign for me. I'll give him a football. <laughs> if only I was sitting next to you, Matt. <laughs> well, Alex knew it was going to be caught her well. Clawson under pressure. Sack back at the 20 yard line. Brett Kiesel, red beard and all. Timmons got the initial pressure. Well, they come clean. I mean, there's nobody. I, it, it's hard for a quarterback to be able to operate when you've got people running in your face clean, and that was Lawrence Timmons. Now Jimmy Claus is running around looking for a place to escape, and you're not going to escape this defense for very long. The best thing he did there was not fumble. By, by Jim Harbaugh. Don't know if he's coming out, though. Don't know that. But that's a tough decision for this franchise to make. Now Claus has got his own tough decision. He's trying to get away from this Steeler defense. Rosario fighting just to get to the 25-yard line. Barrier on the tackle. And there's an injured Carolina Panther. If you don't have one, you're dead. He really hasn't had one, a real one, he hasn't had the whole time he's been here. Harrison knocks the pass away. You know, now Pittsburgh's already clinched the playoff spot, but they're thinking about that first round bye. Need two wins, they lock that up. They're four and one currently in the division. And they're tied for first in points allowed per game, 15.7, tied with the Green Bay Pack. Well, you know, the first two possessions for the Panthers, you know, punt, punt, had an opportunity on that first drive. And then uh, the interception by Clawson stopped on downs. I mean, it's... Yeah, look at the, look at the yard. Line. Minus eight, minus seven. And three and out, three and out, three and out, three and out. We got a first down at the 11. Clawson 
looking for Rosario. Knocked away. Great coverage by Mundy. Steelers up 27 to 3 here in the fourth. Reese Floyd with the kickoff. Antonio Brown on the return for Pittsburgh. Brown out across the 30. The 33 yard line. 27 yard return. Brown on the return. Play effectively. Says, eh, no big deal. Just keep playing. Brown gets tumbled forward and he's got a first down. You got to take a shot. You're down by 24 points and you're 2 and 12. Yep. And now you get sacked that's again. That's what happens when you take a shot, Bob. Bob. And that's what happens when you don't throw it, too. <laughs> you know, Ziggy Hood got the hit on Clawson. Third and six for Pittsburgh. Three six falling here in the Steel City. Redmond. Has the first down and more. Taking on Panthers and still going. Isaac Redmond, the ball carrier. Uh, it's the a combination of good running Charles and poor Johnson. tackling. Well, what it is is they're trying to strip the ball. And you see it so often. I, I, to me, the way you teach a defender is somebody tackle him, and the next guy's in. Try and strip the ball. But don't try and tackle him and strip the ball at the same time. It's not going to happen for you. I mean, you, Gerard Martin. you can see Rashard Martin. He's trying to do it. Throw the football. You also need, do things. Yeah, you also need Joe. You need somebody that you can trust and you can help. A mentor. Like, yeah. 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 But now with Sanchez, Sanchez. Something right. goes wrong, he goes wrong. Roethlisberger had Tommy Maddox here. Yeah. I mean. Now Jimmy Clausen walks to the sideline, and it, I, I mean, you've got Brian St. Pierre, who just joined the team. 7.30 Eastern special time Christmas night. Join us. Mike Tomlin's going to enjoy Christmas in our telecast because his team has won tonight. And John Fox well, lost number 13. Ben Roethlisberger throws for 320 yards. Jimmy Clausen on the night, 10 of 23 for 72 yards and an interception. The Pittsburgh Steelers trying to secure that number two seed in the AFC in a first round bye. Take the first of two steps.